Hi YouTube, this is Patrick and this is my review of True Blood Season 5, Episode 10. I thought this was the best episode of the season because it basically took all the characters that were, that were in the episode and used them well. You know, stunning. It uh, had strong dramatic moments, it, you know, got certain characters in place for the remaining two episodes and uh, even started to set up some things for, for next season. It did a lot, and it did it well. So first of all, there was no Terry, Arlene, or Aliseed in this episode. Who missed them? Right, maybe the ladies missed Aliseed a little bit, but I mean, seriously. Seriously. Who missed them? Not me. I just loved that the character. I love when characters on the show like, just work together. Just even the small moments, like the scene in Relots, where Jessica walked in and like the two like Hicks were there just giving her shit and pulled the gun on her, and then Sam pulled a gun on that guy, and Lafayette pulled the gun on the second guy. And I just love seeing like stuff like that with the three of them working together. And, you know, just Jason walking in, eventually, like, Hoyt. You know, it was just... I don't know, it just it feels so much more fun when they do that. And it's a hard thing, I know. I mean, you have to give characters their separate stuff, but I just... I always prefer it when, when they're all together. Always. I'll just like, very quickly, I guess, mention uh, Sam and Luna who very smartly got into the authority uh, as rats. And Steve Newland was funny um, trying to tell Emma to get back here, except he was calling her like a dog still. But, uh, yeah, so Sam and Luna are, you know, there. And I guess they're going to be a part of everything that's going on in the authority at least next week. All right, now we had a scene with Andy and Holly, and I didn't mind it. Because we haven't seen a, a lot of Holly this season, which is, you know, good. She's a minor character. And I've, like I've said before, I've loved the stuff they've done with Andy this season. Very quietly, he's had an awesome arc the whole season. And, you know, to see where the two of them were eating and they were happy, I kind of thought something's going to go wrong here or in the next two episodes. And I thought about it and I was like, I don't want something to go wrong for Andy. I like Andy. And again, that's like, you know, so hypocritical of me because I've been saying, you know, get the hell, get rid of some of these people. But... Yeah, I just really like what they've done with Andy. Now that kind of, plus the scene was funny with Lafayette. That good feeling kind of went away by the end of the episode, though, because we saw that the, you know, fairy was pregnant. Uh, the one that Andy had sex with last season. And I just looked at it as a setup for next season. And, you know, I kind of just thought, eh, no, I don't care. Once again, Tara and Pam, they took care of the new, uh, or Tara killed the new sheriff. And I like how the reason I think Tara did it is when Pam, you know, Tara kind of said to Pam, like, are you just going to give me up and give up the bar or whatever? And I like how Pam just said, you know, the bar doesn't matter. It's just four walls and you and I will go off together. I think Tara was actually, you know, probably quite like touched that um, Pam wasn't going to leave her. And just, you know, the way that Pam just kind of matter of factly said, like, no, you know, forget the bar. It's, you know, we'll go off and we'll be fine. And I think that's why she did it, because she also knows that the bar actually does mean something to Pam. And, yeah, and just Pam's look at her face when she killed the uh, the guy, it was just of admiration. It was like shock and admiration. And um, I really, you know, the, I think the biggest surprise of the season was, was the two of them. It really was. It was a lot, it's been a lot of fun. And I certainly, I mean... It really is one of the best things, one of the most solid things in the entire season. Even in episodes that I didn't really like, I love the two of them. The Sookie stuff in this episode was kind of boring. I mean, she killed, was it Mike Enslin at the beginning uh, with chopsticks? It was a funny little opening. Uh, just kind of strange. But then the whole stuff with Jason, all the, again, the scenes with her and Jason this season have been great. The scene with Jason undercovering like the scroll underneath her bed. Uh, and then taking it to the expert, which was hilarious. Um, just the guy mentioning about his like wife naming her toes. It was just very, very, very funny. But uh, I'll get to the stuff at the end of the episode with them. But uh, yeah, Suki was kind of on the back burner this week. I guess she'll be more at the forefront starting next week. Okay, Hoyt. I have been complaining about Hoyt uh, pretty much all season. Uh, I will say my the best parts of this episode was with... Hoyt, because it was this very mature, quiet, you know, dramatic scene 
uh, with you know genuine emotion in it, just well written, very well acted between uh, the three of them, uh, with Jessica and Jason, and it reminds you that the show can do this, and you know I'm not gonna miss Hoyt because you know the character's just kind of just been you know nothing for a while, but they let him at least leave the show with some you know some grace and just. It surprised me that, that that's how it went. I don't want to be surprised by things like that on the show. I want things like that to be, you know, the norm on this show. Because that would mean that the show just takes itself a little more seriously. It's fun. All, you know, the campy stuff is, is a lot of fun. And it's entertaining. Very entertaining. But it's these moments that will elevate the show. And, you know, just make you care a little bit more. And I hope they're able to, to do more of that. Especially these last two episodes. I really hope they're able to do more of that. And more of that going forward. Now, yeah, the the scene with Jason and Hoyt, at first I thought it felt a little tacked on when he pulls him over, but it was more about, uh, that was more about Jason's goodbye, because Jessica's goodbye was kind of the glamouring. Um, yeah, and it was just really, you know, making sure that he was going. And uh, it was just, uh, again, it was just well done. And I like, you know, like Sookie, you know, hugging him in the car and everything like that. It was just well done, well acted. So, nice exit. All right, now everything at the authority. They killed the the poor girl with the eye stake, and it was just kind of like, yeah, done. Um, I was just like, oh, you know, I thought they were just gonna like taunt her for at least a little bit, and I was like, nope, nope, blood ball. I'd been thinking, I wasn't sure if Bill was long conning everything. You know, he brought in Jessica. I was hoping maybe he brought her in to protect her. Um, although maybe that's not the best way to go about it, bringing her into like the lion's den. Uh, but even when he was alone, when he had Eric and uh, Nora sitting there, he said, like, praise Lilith out loud, so I guess he's not long conning. I mean, no one else was in the room. But, um, yeah. And now I don't know if Eric is still conning or if he's a part of it because of what he saw. Nora, too. Nora seemed to be a little more enlightened. And then... She didn't seem as gung-ho. Uh, toward the end of the episode, so maybe she's a little bit seeing more of a light, a little more disturbed by, by everything. Um, also, I mean, you know, man, can, can you give Godric a little more to do? He just kind of stands there and just, you know, spouts out, like, random shit. He's such a great character. I'd just rather he have, like, more... I love that he keeps popping up, but still. Finally, Russell got to do the thing I've been waiting for him to do all season. Um, dance to Katy Perry. No, I'm kidding. Uh, the thing I've been waiting for Russell to do all season, he's been in the middle going along with everything, but I've just been waiting for, you know, him to just go, I'm through with this shit, basically. Like, you know, I'm doing what I want to do right now, and, uh, I don't give a shit about it. And I like how Salome started, like, trying to say shit to him, and he just, like, flung her across the room. And, um, it very quickly, like, unified all those other vampires realizing that they were all now in trouble. It's almost like their entire... The fact that they seemed like they were going to be the problem for these last two episodes, it almost seemed like all of a sudden they were like, oh shit, now the real problem is out there. And I like that he was going out. He's obviously going to go after Sookie. And I just love, like, Bill and Eric's face, where, you know, as much as they've been, you know, especially Bill acting like an ass, the two of them just had the same, like, oh shit look on their face, you know, on the same page for the first time in a while. And um, just how horrified everyone else was. Uh, by the way, I hope Salome dies. She she annoys me. Gorgeous, but, you know, get staked. All right, now, the ending of the episode I actually thought was the, the weakest part of it because, you know, they make this big reveal that, like, Suki was promised to some, you know, guy named Warlow, some vampire or some shit, and the camera made this whole big zoom in and everyone looked, like, so horrified and shocked by it that I honestly thought I missed something. I was like, wait, they just said that she's promised to, she was promised to this, like, Warlow guy, right? Like, that's all that happened? But they made such a big deal out of it that I was kind of going, did they say something else that I missed? Like, what, you know, what happened? And instead it didn't. The episode just ended, and I was just, so it was just really kind of a weak kind of ending. And maybe they just tried to make it look more dramatic because it was the end of the episode and it was the cliffhanger. But, I don't know, just very, very weird. But other than that, I thought it was a really, I thought it was a great episode, and uh, I can't wait for the last two. I can't wait, to, well... I hope they, I really hope they're, they're able to stick the landing, but we shall find out. Alright guys, I will um, talk to you next week.